Good night, ladies and gentlemen. This is our chef Brent Thomas. Those are called Brent. And tonight is Killer Brent 80s night. We're making crab mac and cheese. So tune in right here, right now, everybody. Let's go. All right, everyone, here's our ingredients you need to make your crab mac and cheese. First, I'll be using, I'll be using my uh, premium cavatippi pasta. It's made in Italy and everything. You're going to need some shredded cheddar cheese and shredded fried cheese right here. It's Parmesan, mozzarella, aged, Parmesan, and all the other cheeses combined right here. I have my light cream, I have my Italian parsley, and also I have crab meat right here. You know, it's also you can you need. I have my all-purpose flour. I have my butter, salt, black pepper, my panko breadcrumbs, garlic powder, milk, and olive oil. Okay, that's what you need for this recipe. All right. I'm going to make this show, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to add olive oil. And then don't get in your kaffa to be pasta. Uh, you want to make sure I pronounce it right. Or you can or you do a comment down below to break it down in, syllab in syllables. And then once you add that pasta in there, please stir it, okay? Stir it up. Oh, stir it up, baby. Just like that, okay? Turn heat down medium low and let the cavity be pasta cook. Alright? We'll be right back. Alright, then I'm back to the show. And now here's time to add, add my two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna make our roux. We're gonna make the cheese sauce and everything. That's coming up next. Alright, we're going back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And now the angles are flour. And then we're going to stir this up, okay? Mix everything to combine. Alright? Mix it up. Okay? We'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back to the show. Time to add in the light cream. And make sure you give it a mix. Stir, stir it up to combine, okay? Okay, add the light cream, pour in the milk, and then you keep stirring to combine, okay? Keep on stirring to combine so it's no longer lumpy, all right? All right, we're back to the show, everybody, and now the cheese sauce around is thickening up, and now I'm going to throw my cheeses in. Add your trony cheese. Add your cheese in into the sauce. And then we're going to stir everything to combine, okay? Once you have the heat off, make sure to mix everything well to combine, alright? We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to the show, and now it's time to dump out the pasta, drain it out, and everything, okay? You see? That's how you got to do it, all right? We're right back with the next step. All right, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen, and now I want to season up the cheese sauce with a little black pepper. And garlic powder, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother add salt because with all the cheeses, already has enough salt and sodium in it. Just to season up with garlic powder and black pepper. That's it. All right. You see, that's how it is, my friends. Okay. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And now I want to 
and my two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to melt this down. And then you add your breadcrumbs. I'm going to come back and now I'm going to add my breadcrumbs in. And then give this a stir, alright? We're going to toast it, okay? I repeat, we're going to toast these breadcrumbs in butter. Make sure you stir it up, okay? We'll be back. Alright, then we're going to the show. And now it's time to add in the mac and cheese pasta in. I mean the cavity pasta noodles. Back in there. And everything, okay? And when you're done, you're going to pour in the, the cheese sauce mixture. And try and start to combine, okay? We'll be right back. All right, I'm going to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And now, time to angle the crab meat. And I know I say back some to add to the top, okay? This is crab meat from a can. And then you're going to combine the crab meat into it as well. Okay? I'm going to make to the show, ladies and gentlemen. And now, time to sprinkle some crab meat on. And everything, okay? Spoon the crab meat, spread it around the casserole dish. All right, all right, everybody went to the show, and now time to sprinkle in the breadcrumbs, the toasted breadcrumbs all around. And they're nice and crunchy on top. And everything, okay? I'm going to put it in my 375 degree oven and we'll let it bake for 25 30 minutes or until it's all done. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, back to the show. And now this pasta, now this crab mac and cheese is done. And now I'm just going to decorate it around with, with parsley, Italian parsley all around. I chopped it up and everything, okay? Give it a nice look. Alright. Real talk. One, two, three. And then add some great Parmesan cheese as well. See? That's what you got, looks like, okay? Real talk. One, two, three. I will not buy a taste test on camera. This is real as it gets. And it's Chef. Brent approved. Yeah, there you have it. That's how you make the best ever crab mac and cheese. And it's done by the one and only Chef Brent Thomas. If I could do it, then you could do it, everybody, all right? So thank you for coming around this Wednesday, I mean Thursday night, as always. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please give my video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. And make sure you smash that post notification. Well, next episode, Miss Mormons are going Brent. Have a good night, and we'll see you on the next episode. Love somebody, hate no one, and Cora Brent runs deep. Good night, everybody.